Um, creativity is ex extremely important. It, it, has, it has been uh, all my uh, business life. If I can start by saying that my business life has been one that's been entirely full of, of, of the need to be creative. Um, I, I uh, I'm, have an inventive mind and um, have, have made several, uh, created several products from scratch um, by using my imagination, um, by looking around at um, uh, situations, uh, markets, and then arriving at uh, a, a conclusion about a, a product and then invented the product. So for example, in the 1970s, my first business venture was a, a health food manufacturing uh, product uh, or company um, at a time when health foods were just in their infancy really when it comes to uh, people's awareness of uh, whole foods and uh, that kind of thing. Um, so I was a, a pioneer in that area. Then I started, a, I sold that and started a, an advertising, marketing and PR agency specialising in health foods. So again, in that capacity, I needed to be highly creative. Um, and then I went on from there and did other things that I can talk about if you wish. It involves um, uh, enlightening people as to a need that they might not have realised that they had before. So, for example, with health foods um, or whole foods, the, the market was um, needed to be educated slightly. And, and it's always a difficult thing. If you're creating something that is new um, or uh, at least uh, ahead of the, 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 the market, then it can be quite expensive in both time and money. So you have to have your wits about you and you have to be creative about generating publicity for, for the, those products as well. So um, yes, going back to creativity, it, it's, it's needed greatly if you're in a pioneering uh, situation. Yes, an example, an example, a prime example recently is when Elon Musk um, sent a, a, one of his cars into space. Um, now, you would think that he wouldn't need publicity, but because he's so, so big in the world anyway, but it captured people's imaginations. And, and, and uh, so he, he's using creativity at an incredible, incredible pace. And, and uh, um, he's probably one of the most creative people in the world today. Um, but that's a good, that's an example of how you can use creativity in various different ways. And it's also an example of um, ethics, because some people would argue, how ethical is it to send a car into space? What will be the impact of that? Is it going to have a positive impact or could there be negative impacts of doing things like that, that we don't know what the actual outcome is going to be? What, you know, how is that going well, to be? There will always be naysayers. Um, his over his, you could look at it that um, he has to persuade uh, the world to move to uh, electric cars from uh, petrol-driven cars, so or diesel-driven cars. Now, in his quest to do that, he has to do all sorts of weird and wonderful things, and uh, he's been very successful at that in a very short period of time. Uh, it's arguable that. Uh, sending a car into space is um, uh, uses a lot of fuel in itself um, but nevertheless if you're on a, 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 a mission to make a big shift then sometimes you have to um, break the rules a little bit. Yes um, I mean breaking rules being disruptive in some way they go being disruptive is probably a much better way of putting it yes yes I mean, currently I'm, I'm uh, involved with a, a small team that's developed a, a piece of software to help people think more deeply and widely about issues and problems to help solve the world's problems. Now, this might seem to be a, a somewhat ambitious venture, but I found that if I don't think uh, big uh, about, uh, and it, it has to be something that's 
bigger than me, then um, I, I find I can't raise the enthusiasm and the energy to, to make something happen. The concept of, uh, uh, I mean, when, when you're inventing a product or developing a, a concept, um, I think increasingly, um, not just individual entrepreneurs, but corporations are coming round a little too slowly to my mind to thinking about their total impact rather than uh, merely uh, shareholder value. Now the stock market, the way the stock market works, of course, thereafter they focus entirely on shareholder value and um, uh, uh, pay lip service by way of uh, um, public relations to um, wider impact on, on their customers, on the, on the environment and on their employees. Uh, it's been the case for many, many years that um, shareholder uh, value has been by far the biggest uh, priority. It didn't used to be the case in Victorian times. Many of the big companies and, 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 and uh, uh, very clever entrepreneurs were not just after shareholder value. They, they would work to uh, very much towards the, what their total impact might be, particularly with their employees and companies like mostly the Quaker companies like uh, Cadbury's and Fry's and, and these sort of uh, uh, companies looked after their employees and, and, and focused not just on shareholder value, but the, the wider impact that they would have. And I, I'm, I'm really happy to see some of that coming back, but it's taking a, a long time. I understand that the United Nations have started an initiative to persuade, I think it's 25,000 corporations around the world. It might even be, I think it's 250,000 corporations around the world to re-examine uh, their um, bottom line thinking uh, and, and um, have a, a, a deep look at uh, their total impact. The, 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 the entrepreneurs uh, of that era um, could do what they liked really. I mean, if they were, you know, if there's, there's the expression he who pay, pays the piper calls the tune. And um, it, it's, it's very true. Uh, it, if you talk about values, you're talking about the, the Quaker values. You could say that's Christian values, but it's kind of, I think, I think Quaker values are based on, on uh, Christian values. But I don't think that, that um, they were foisting their religion on people in any way shape or form i haven't seen any uh, any evidence of that um i think the values um if you look at the united nations for instance uh look at the uh what were the millennium development goals and, and since become the sustainable development goals i don't think they're particularly uh, religious based or, or or based on religious values they're just plain common sense for the good of humanity um, and uh, I think that there, there's becoming a, a great shift in people's thinking largely through programs like Blue Planet um, uh, people are becoming very much more aware of their total impact as individuals on um, on the planet and the people around them so this is happening it just is, needs to happen a bit quicker and I think entrepreneurs can play a big role in this because entrepreneurs generally speaking um, are, uh, are creative and it needs a huge amount of creativity and original thinking I think the only way we're going to get out of the problems that the world's world has is to think our way out it's the only we thought our way into it we need to think our way out of it it's only through thinking that um, I mean when you Let's face it, all the things around you uh, in your immediate environment, uh, unless you're sitting in a garden, um, started, every single thing started with a thought. Even so, <laughs> Even I'm sorry? Even started with a thought because somebody planted those seeds and so... Yes, that's, that's also true. So, so we need to um, think our way 
pay um, through or out of the problems that uh, uh, are now occurring. Um, I'm in the business of, of, of creating a, a piece of software to help people solve problems. The, um, back when the plastics industry was, was starting, um, there was no consideration for the environment because it wasn't an issue. It hadn't been an issue at all. It never entered people's minds. So yes, we are having to backtrack. Um, and um, uh, but if if we if we think a bit more widely and deeply about the products that we manufacture, the um, the companies that we that we start as entrepreneurs, then um, it will, um, without doubt in my mind, um, make a very big difference to the way we think about the products that we, that we, that we create. Because we're, we're thinking more widely and deeply about the impact it will have, not just on, in our pockets, but um, on, on, the, on the planet and, 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 and for the people we deal with, whether they're customers or suppliers, or, um, uh, or or employees. Well, I can I can best sum that up by um, uh, by saying what we've done um, with with ThoughtSpace. Um, that this is this software that um, I mentioned, where where the the way that works is that um, whatever issue or problem or, or, or product or event you, you want to think about, um, you allow yourself to free think. So you can free think, uh, and when you've done your free thinking and you've got a, a, a whole jumble of thoughts down and into the uh, software, you then start to associate the thoughts. Um, and, and link them and, 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 and uh, categorize them and then recategorize them so that you can uh, start thinking laterally. And it's from lateral thinking that, um, that new ideas and, and, and creativity usually happens. So if you think back, uh, most people's best ideas come from when they're doing something that's nothing to do with the issue at hand. They're, they're distracted by something or you might be in the shower or whatever, and then you, a thought pops into your head. Now, what? Uh, and that is that. That is probably where most big ideas came from in the first place. You know, we talked about all the things around us and, and so on. All start with a thought. Those thoughts quite often have come from moments like that. They're called aha moments. And um, I think that. Um, if you can intentionally create those aha moments, then you can be far more creative. Um, and and uh, that's, that's the mission that I'm on at the moment.